So, today's job number one is change a top roller and the top down top. Got a new assembly here. Pretty frosty this morning, so we have the space heater on it. What we're going to do, we've got the truck adjuster grease pull out, uh, the idler is back, we're going to put a strap around the track, hook it up to the skip, lift the skip up, the skip will lift the track, and we're going to gain access, access to there. Now, the BBEs, that's a different type of uh, top roller, it's for a Marolka, and on the looks of it, it's been welded on instead of ported on. We might have a bit of a pickle in, but we'll see. Don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Love a winter. Oh yeah, baby. Bit more. More. Bit more. Perfect, thank you very much. Excellent. So, that's the original one. It's got two holes in the middle, both through. This one is a different one. It's got a flat base and a four bolt. The bolts are two out, so we have to do a new one. So we're going to put mark it and uh, do a new hole to the traffic on the frame. Job number two is, we haven't got a big enough depth for that, so we're waiting for Mike to turn up with a bigger tap. Everything is prepped. I actually tapped it with a small size, but it's need a bit bigger. Um, so it's all good. Everything lines up. We just need to tap it and put it back on. Um, second job, the catch, the actual bracing here is good, but it's give up further down here down here is cracked cracked there and cracked there so i'm gonna tidy this up reinforce it it's cracked up there as well as you see um so we're gonna do that repair that so i'm just gonna clean it up first we see what we got So I actually forget to say um, I'm welding on a homemade tool, <clears throat> it's a dog leg, uh, it's basically just a, a bolt welded to a piece of block so I can put a huge massive bolt, um, nut in it and I use that attack welder onto the, onto the surface and I can use that to pull, to pull the dams in and out um, in this situation. Um, you know the crack are separated so I use that tool to pull it back together uh, right. and then weld it up. I patched it all up. It'll be alright for now. Good job coming for up up for it. Um but sometimes later on I think we we cut this all the way out. There is four braces, you can see two of them in each side and they got two in the middle here. So they got this whole plate out. It'll be rotten if I'm honest. 
we cut it all out and put a new one on it, put it back on to do it properly. Uh, for now it'll be alright. I better stay all up, put some extra welding at the back. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. But for now it's sorted, it's all working and it feels solid, it'll be alright. The biggest problem is people don't open the tailgate or forget sometimes when they tip up. It puts a lot of pressure on it. So you've got to open the target first before you tip. Mm, anyway, looking good. Alright, job number three. This bed for the a brace for the dipper for transporting. It's got a long crack here. Now that's not really structural. The sides are structural, so I think we can fix that. We can weld it up. What we're gonna do, I'll clean it up first, grind it off. I'm gonna drill some some stress release holes here and there. And we read it out, tidy it up as much as we can and uh, try to weld it up. So we've got some relief soles here, here, here and there and uh, it's quite thick actually so it would take too long to grind it so I've got a torch out I was going to preheat it with it anyway before weld but um, we've got to cut it we've got to cut it with that so we'll see, we'll see what we can do Right, I did my best. Beat it out. Tidy it up a little bit with a. I will tidy up with the ringer grinder. It's really hot at the moment. And uh, start to fill up this gap. To be able to take it out afterwards. Oh, they're not good, really. Are they? Not good. I've got some string line in my van. Would you like a bit of string line? Yeah, something like that. Yeah? I'll go and get the string lines come out. I had to get out my trusty old GoPro. The new one is just going through batteries like it's no tomorrow. So anyway, I did put a plate underneath, coiled it up with a string, tech weld it, so I had a base to weld onto it, and I just filled up again. I mean, I'm not a welder, they're not the best looking thing, but for sure it's functional. Um, I'm pretty confident with it, it's gonna be alright. And. Uh, I'll put some primer on it, let it cool down a bit. Uh, I've got the space heater blowing on it. I don't want it to cool too quickly. It's pretty cold outside. And uh, there we are. Hopefully it will hold up.